Um, first of all, I, I didn't grow up as a Seventh-day Adventist. Okay. I became a Seventh-day Adventist later on in my life. Mm-hmm. I grew up as a Catholic. Mm. And as a Catholic, I can't remember at any one point um, as a church reading the book of Revelation. Okay. But okay. in our home, I think there were some people who had gone around distributing literature mm-hmm. and they I can't remember which denomination was this but they had they had brought small books mm-hmm. that had um, um, photos of the beasts in mm-hmm. the book of Revelation mm-hmm. and I, I imagine that mm-hmm. in the last days we'll have beasts like those mm-hmm. roaming on the earth and devouring us mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. that's how I perceived it <laughs> and so for a long time in my whole life I think until I became a Seventh-day Adventist, I just never read the book of Revelation. I just mm. thought this is a dark book. Mm. I mean, the Bible is filled with so many other nice things mm-hmm. to talk about God. Mm-hmm. Like, why stress myself with this other last part that mm. I do not really understand? And it's very scary for me. I don't want to see beasts roaming up on the face <laughs> of the earth and it being dark and mm-hmm. fire coming down. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to hear the good parts of Jesus mm-hmm. and to read about grace. <laughs> So, growing up, what is the book of Revelation for you right now? Um, I think um, the lesson brings this out um, very well. Mm -hmm. That it is a book that is filled with a lot of grace. Mm -hmm. My husband here likes referencing and and saying that, you know, if someone was in a building that is burning Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's about to come down, what is the most loving thing? to tell that person Mm -hmm. is it to tell that person you know let's just chill it's fine it's gonna be fine or is the most or is the most loving thing to tell that person get out you know Mm -hmm. the book of revelation is like that it's like there's this person who loves and cares for you so much Mm -hmm. that he tells you what is to come Mm -hmm. and tells you how to prepare Mm -hmm. and when you look at revelation chapter one Mm -hmm. It starts by by identifying who is the person writing this letter. Exactly. Like me growing up thinking out, oh, I want just to read about Jesus. But then in Revelation 1, before he even tells you about the beast and everything, he identifies himself. The, what we learned last week, that mm. he comes and always tells you, I'm the son of man. So mm. here he comes and identifies himself mm. and says, mm. I am the one who has actually arisen, mm. number one. He says, number two, I am the one who is the first begotten. Mm-hmm. To know who he's, he's, part of, he's part of humanity. Mm-hmm. Then he says, I'm the one who died for you and my blood is the one that has, is, has washed you. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm this person who, who meets your needs and especially the needs of your salvation, Amen. which is what, because when you think of revelation, you wouldn't be scared of the judgment mm-hmm. if you knew you're on the right side. Mm-hmm. We only get scared because we think there's this sin, maybe I will be judged on the wrong <laughs> side, maybe something will happen and I will not pass through that mm-hmm. judgment, you know, maybe I've not kept one commandment. But then he says, I know you think of the judgment and you're scared, but I am the one who has washed you mm-hmm. by my blood. Amen. So as you read these signs that will come through, just know that I am giving you grace, you mm-hmm. know. The, the lesson says that it is a grace-filled book. Mm-hmm. Um, someone preached and said that there are seven beatitudes in the book of Revelation. It, it keeps on pouring out blessings for mm-hmm. the person who leads, for the person who overcomes, mm-hmm. for the persons who obeys the commandments of God, for the person who remains patient. Mm-hmm. It is a book where Christ walks with the, with the person. And then you can see Christ in every chapter speaking, mm-hmm. guiding, and then proclaiming a blessing. Mm-hmm. Speaking, guiding, and then proclaiming a blessing. Amen. There's a lot of hope in wow. this. Book. Mm. I'm just like, I like what you've said. It is Christ giving the blessing, speaking, and just guiding us. I, I didn't, I've never seen it. <laughs> Even speaking a blessing, you know, uh, we, if we want blessings, we move to the book of Matthew. We go to the book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> yes. you know, but not Revelation. Wow, viewer, you might start looking at Revelation as Jess is looking at it. 